Well, we know kids these days can get caught up in social media trends, but it can be alarming for parents to hear about one for much younger kids, elementary age. Holly is in the newsroom with a new game parents need to watch out for. And Holly, this is pretty unsettling. It is unsettling, Stephen Jeanette, and it's called innocently enough, the Huggy Wuggy game. And while it may sound innocent, like I said, it could actually be really traumatic for some children. So joining us now from Parents.com, who reported on the game, is Editorial Director Melissa Bykovsky. Good morning, Melissa. It's good to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And I get articles from Parents.com, and I, I saw this article, and I couldn't believe it. I was reading it. So for people that aren't familiar with Huggy Wuggy, what is it? Yeah, so Huggy Wuggy is a character uh, in a horror computer game called Poppy Playtime. It's blue, it kind of looks like Cookie Monster, but it has really big teeth. Um, but like most things in pop culture, kids aren't necessarily watching or playing it, but they're they're hearing about it in other ways. Yeah, so... And, and so how is this becoming like such a it. concern? Like how is this translating? Is it just scaring them or are they actually taking on some of the actions of this creature? Yeah, so apparently in the game, the, the character that you just saw goes around and hugs people and whispers really creepy songs into their ears. Um, so Common Sense Media says there's no graphic violence, but obviously that can be a little scary. On playgrounds, it seems like kids are mimicking that. They're going around and hugging each other and kind of whispering these creepy mantras at each other. So it's kind of like we, what we saw with Squid Game, like Squid Game to exactly. the playground, Huggy Wuggy to the playground with kids kind of doing some inappropriate things. So I guess my the next obvious question is, how are kids, especially young kids, getting exposed to this? So part of it is from, you know, the normal ways. Older siblings are playing it. Uh, they're hearing it from friends with older siblings or, you know, it's on YouTube or a social media app, and a name like Huggy Wuggy easily slips through parental controls. Yeah, I mean, my child never watched an episode of Squid Game, but he knew all about it, right? I mean, that's just kind of like green light. They're all playing it. Yeah. yeah. So, so here's the next thing: What can parents do about it? Yeah. So obviously, it's impossible to know every single thing your kid is playing and watching. Um, but a big thing to do is just know the apps that they're using. If they're using YouTube, if they're using Facebook, um, and that way parents can come to their child when they see a new segment like this and say, you know, have you heard of this game? Have you heard of Squid Games? Have you heard of Huggy Wuggy? Um, and then they can have open ended questions. What are your thoughts? How are you feeling? Um, the biggest thing is just communication, making sure that your kid knows that if they are scared or if they are concerned about anything they see, anything their friends are talking about, they can come to their parents. I think it's important to understand what that conversation needs to look and sound like, right? So it's just not a matter of saying, do you know about this? Well, you shouldn't be doing it. Right. So parents can, of course, express their concerns that, you know, it's, it troubles me as a parent that you might be playing X, Y, Z. But the bigger issue, the bigger thing to do is to open conversation so that the kids know that if there is something that is concerning them, they can approach you without judgment, without shame, and that they can start the conversation for how they can handle it if they are concerned with their parents. Real quickly, in like 10 seconds or less, and maybe this is the biggest question, because if we're talking about Huggy Wuggy now, there's already something else that's coming along, right? So how do parents keep up? Um, I mean, Facebook groups are a great way to hear about it. That's how we heard about Huggy Wuggy. Um, just listening to, you know, other parents and what they're seeing from their kids is really smart. And having conversations with kids at the end of the day. All right, Melissa, thank you. Really appreciate you enlightening us to this. And there's parents.com and their information if you want to check out more about different articles that they have. Jeanette? Some great tips, especially about opening those lines uh, of communication. Holly, thank you for that.